Another exempt player from among the lanes 11 and 12. From Long Island, New York. I'm not going to do what Michael Alvo said. Michael has won at several tournaments overseas, including the Saudi Arabia Kingdom Open, the Bernheim Open. He was the third place in last year's U.S. Open, one regional title. Exempt player Michael Fagan. But one PBA regional title, some local player from Hudson, New Hampshire, Russ B. Shellon. From Conference, New York, four-time New York, uh, excuse me, four-time High Roller Red Hot Champion, the 1998 National Amateur Champion, 1998 British Open Champion, and the 2000, he won our tournament here in 2004, Mike Mullen. He's no introduction at all. 34-time PBA champion, two senior titles, four-time player of the year on the PBA tour. He was a rookie of the year, if you can believe that, in 2001. In 2002, he was PBA senior player of the year from Fulton, New York, Mark Groff. Yeah, yeah. Joining us from Lake Guy, Connecticut. 2003 PBA Eastern Regional Rookie of the Year with four PBA Regional titles. He actually won last year's Regional Players Championship, Scott Santos. From Broad Island, New York, with one PBA Regional title, Steve Wagner. I like Steve. Sorry. Another gentleman that needs no introduction at all from Jackson, New Jersey, with 16 regional titles, 30 national titles, the 1999 and 2001 PBA Player of the Year. He rolled the 12th 300 game on national television. He is in the PBA Hall of Fame, Parker Bone III. Woo! From Lockport, New York, the 2002-2003 PBA Rookie of the Year. He was the 2004 PBA Point Leaders. In 1997-98, before he became a PBA member, he was on Team USA, Brad Angelo. Yeah. Good, Brad. From Worcester, Massachusetts. This is a hammer staff player, so if you have any questions about hammer bowling balls, don't be shy. He's also on the vice staff. He is the most recent PBA champion, winning last week's tournament, Waverly, Chris Monroy. From Wichita, Massachusetts, two-time high roller champion. Anybody that knows the high roller knows there's a $100,000 tag or a $200,000 tag. Comes with that tournament. This gentleman's won this tournament twice. He's a Massachusetts Hall of Famer, George Tigner. Folks, that's the bowlers you're going to be bowling with today in this 11 a.m. squad. Don't be shy. Get autographs from all of them. You're going to bowl with six different professionals in this squad. Have a good time. Enjoy their company. Watch their prolific strike balls as they fire them across the lane. It's funny to move to the right and to the left. They shoot you a lot of high scores. Enjoy your time out there today. Don't forget about the high hopes. Please go over and support the high hopes table by buying raffle tickets and 50-50 tickets. Also support the Silver Air Stands if you'd like to get a bowling pin to get autographs from the players on. Don't be shy. Just move this by you really quick. Yeah. I don't have a problem. Record me with a pro. Yeah. Yeah.